So with this cut, you don't want to cut too deep for this one. Because if you cut deep with this this cut here for your arm, means you've got to cut deeper for this one. And that means this uh, leg go ends up going, mm. ends up ending up in, into the base. Too we low. want to try and avoid that. Because mm. eh? the top of the leg is going to be below that. Yeah. As well as the book. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Top of the leg. Notice the hitting. Even though it's consistent, it's quite soft. Different to when I was blocking out because I was using this chisel and I was trying to get it out quite fast. Mm -hmm. But this is um, even this rhythm, this thing is just as good. You know, you don't have to rush through this to try and get it down. Um, I'm actually, I'm actually taking my time. I'm actually taking my time because I'm practicing how to control the, 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 the level, the angle of the chisel that I'm cutting. Mm. So you can go at this pace and it's still quite quite fast. You can get the, get this done quite quickly. So you don't uh, like I said before, you don't actually have to rush it. <laughs> you just take your time. So I want to cut another um, high high line in here too. Because I need to run this over. So this is what you're doing now, right? Oh, I'm just cleaning up those scratch marks in here. Yeah. So what I'm trying to do is, um, <coughs> when I prep this one, I went straight across. But my chisel has a curve on it. If you notice the difference, it has a curve. And what that means is that um, it'll slice the wood on both sides, so it, uh, it'll be less scratches along here. So if I try to do that here, I'll get all these scratch marks and run the risk of splitting along here and this whole thing could break out. Yeah, that's, that's, that's your chisel. Yes. That's the other chisel. <laughs> yeah. 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 Really it's, a, it's a blunt. No, no, it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's just that you've, you've got a straight edge, oh. so your corners are going to dig into the wood. Mm. Oh, okay. That's the, you get the right angle of light. Yeah. When you're cutting the cross here, same thing applies uh, as long as you keep this top, top corner out. Obviously if it starts to split, then the grain's telling you, oh, go this way. Mm -hmm. So we go that way. Mm -hmm. If you carry on, you can at your own risk. You, if you mm -hmm. lose half mm -hmm. your face, well, that, that, yeah. the wood telling you, <laughs> you went the wrong Start way. Start again. Yeah. <laughs>
in two stages when you round over. So uh, you got to round this, take this corner off, and we also have to drop this <coughs> corner as well. So I'm, this is what I'm going to do now. I'm gonna oh, this, this, this is going to be going like that, right? Yeah, that's yeah. right. What I'm doing now, I'm trying to keep both of these corners out of the way. <laughs> Remember when we were talking about when we went through the ads this morning and uh, last night, and I talked about uh, technique and control. The same thing with the chisel. Technique and control. So what I'm doing now, and I'm practicing it, by the way, even though it looks cool, it looks like I know what I'm doing, but I'm still practicing those basic, simple um, steps. So when you find yourself, um, um, as, you're, as you're doing this at this stage, rounding over and you find that your your um, the corners are going into the wood what you do is just stop and just readjust the um, chisel going to scoop this in as well we're still going to go down yeah oh, okay. but we'll leave that for now this is the first stage so we get to this stage, and then we'll see how we go. Um, apparently, I think it's a rugby game on. No. <laughs>